Hey guys, so we're back. Today I'm going to tend to a lot of the issues that have popped up on my car over the winter. Like, tons of stuff has stopped working, lights have stopped working, gauges stopped working, radio stopped working. So, going to tend to all that stuff, install some new things that you guys haven't seen yet, but we'll see. So, first things first, we're going to try and get my car into the garage. Okay, so it's finally able to get this thing in the garage. I'm gonna start ripping apart the interior now so I can get to the radio. I already looked at all the fuses and the inline fuse to see if any of them were blown and they weren't. So that's not the problem, but I'm gonna get straight to the radio so I can do a little step-by-step -step approach rather than just messing around the whole time, trying to work around stuff. I think it'd be faster just to go right at it. Okay guys, so we finally got to the radio, I'm gonna be able to take a closer look now. And I forgot to mention earlier, the my battery gauge, the one that shows D and C, is also not working. So they're both in the same unit, so I'm gonna be able to take a closer look right now. Okay, so now that I got everything torn apart in the interior, I'm gonna use this little tester thing right here. What you do is you hook it up to the ground and press where there's supposed to be power, and this little light bulb will light up. So we're gonna go do that now to troubleshoot everything and see if the radio is getting power. Okay, so I have the ground hooked up as you can see for this little tester. Um, I have the car in accessory mode, so there should be power coming in. I'm gonna test it with the uh, the power supply that lights these gauges up. So that's right here. So if I tap this to the metal, you can see it lights up, showing that there's power. So that's how I'm gonna attempt to troubleshoot the radio. Okay, so this plastic box right here I just unhooked from the radio, and that's what supplies it with power. So there's one constant line of power for the clock on the radio, and then there's one that goes with the ignition. So I'm going to test them both because if one of them's not working, the radio won't work. So I'm going to test them both, see if I have power, and hopefully I don't in at least one of them, because then I know it's not the radio that's wrong. Okay, so just tested it. There's no power in the yellow one, which is like the constant power. So I'm gonna go check to where that's hooked up, the little fuse box. I know the fuses aren't blown because I checked that right away, but we'll go look at that and see if there's a problem with the box itself getting power. Okay, so this is the fuse box I'm talking about. Gonna test if there's power. And unfortunately, there's no power coming in. So I guess we know that the problem is not with this fuse box or the wires coming to it, but the main power source. Okay, so this wire right here. Okay, so this wire right here is the one that connects to the fuse box I just showed you guys. Um, as you can see, the light's coming on, so there's power there. And then, so there's power to the wire here, and then it goes back to the fuse box and there's no power, which leads me to think that 
maybe the wire is eroded. So because of that, um, after talking with my dad, we think that the wire itself might be eroded. So I'm gonna cut it up and see how it looks. Okay, so just cut this baby up and look at that. Completely eroded. Yikes. So that, I'm gonna say, is definitely the problem. Um, I'll cut it back a little bit and attach some like fresh wire to it and hopefully it'll work. So luckily, we got this nice pair of wire strippers here. So I'll show you guys how to use that real quick and then we can test to see if the radio works now. Okay, so basically there's a sharp part right here that I'm gonna use to cut the wire and get a nice fresh piece. Comes the cool part, you just stick the wire in like this and press. Like I said, we're doing it pretty butch league the first time. I've managed to squeeze the wire in between right there and hopefully when I reattach the ground, we'll get some power. Okay guys, so I've just brought in the car outside as you can see. I haven't bothered putting the dash pad or the console in yet, but we're out here, see if the radio works, see if the gauge works. Actually, you can already see the gauge working, so that's a good sign. Boom, radio works, it's all good. All right guys, so that was a quick little video on how to troubleshoot electrical problems. If you learned anything, please leave a like. If you got any questions, leave a comment. And most importantly, subscribe to see new and upcoming videos from the channel. Hopefully we got a bunch of new stuff coming for you guys. And yeah, we'll catch you in the next one.